today we're going to be talking about Satoshi Tahiri and how awesome inspired the creation of the game Pokemon. Have you ever played Pokemon games before? Now Pokemon is short for Pocket Monsters. Pokemon is a Japanese media franchise consisting of video games, animated series and films, trading card games and other related media. Although it was made in Japan, it soon went viral across the world. The Pokemon brand was so popular that in the UK, many schools even banned students from trading Pokemon card games. But today's story starts with Satoshi Tajiri, the creator of Pokemon, the man behind the game. Now, Satoshi Tajiri was born in rural Japan on August 28th, 1965. When he was young, Tajiri exhibited typical characteristics of those with autism. Autism is a developmental disability caused by differences in the brain. People with autism often have problems with social communication and interaction or restricted or repetitive behaviours or interests. Now, people with autism may also have different ways of learning, moving or paying attention. So in his youth, Satoshi Tajiri had very few interests that he focused on intensely and he really, really didn't enjoy school. Tajiri was also obsessed with collecting bugs. His friends call him Dr. Bug because he was always searching for and finding new bugs to add to his collection. He was also distracted and got bored at school. As he grew older, his interest in video games eclipsed his earlier obsession with bug collecting. At the age of 17, he started a simple magazine with tips and tricks and strategies and hacks he and his friends had discovered on video games. He named it Game Freak. It started out as a few pages stapled together, but eventually partnered with an artist named Ken Sugimori, the man who would later go and illustrate the original 151 Pokemon. Now, you may be asking yourself, how on earth did he create this hit game? How did he create Pokemon? Now, Tajiri loved his days collecting bugs and knew others would find it fun to collect and share things too. His idea was simple, a video game where players could collect and share different characters. But when he pitched the original concept of Pokemon to Nintendo in the early 1990s, they were skeptical. The project was way too big, they thought, for a startup game company. Only one person in the room liked the idea though. His name was Shigeru Miyamoto, the creator of Donkey Kong and one of Tajiri's idols. When Miyamoto's guide and mentoring Tajiri began to work on his project. During development, he took irregular shifts and worked for very, very long hours. His colleagues considered him eccentric, but they couldn't deny his passion for the new game he was developing. Tajiri enlisted the help of Ken Sugimori, the artist from Game Freak, for character design and art. Pocket Monsters was shortened to the word Pokemon and then was released in 1996 in Japan and started being tremendously successful. Satoshi then used his unique perspective to create a toy few could have imagined. With his autism, Satoshi spent his childhood in exploration, discovery, and collecting. He knew it'd be fun for others to participate in the same excitement that he had in his childhood life. So Satoshi had gone on record saying that he wanted the games to give children the same joy like he had during his bug collecting days. Now, people with autism tend to take up a collection as a hobby. So Satoshi gave them and everyone a gift that only he could uniquely create. A whole new thing to collect. He is an example of someone who used his unique skills and focused interests to achieve his goals and dreams. Something that seems for the life and movement is said to be animated. Now, the word animated can be linked to animated films for television and movies, including cartoons, claymations, puppets, and computer-generated images, which are all simulations of living things. If a video game, image, or story goes viral, it spreads quickly and widely. On the internet, though, social media and email 
For example, their amazing video of the project has now gone viral with millions of views. To exhibit means to show or make it visible or demonstrate. Now, repetitive behaviours might include repetitivity, rocking the body, opening and closing drawers, for example, or talking about the same thing continuously, or show. Now, to be obsessed means to have or show a compulsive concern with something. Now, the word eclipse. Now, a solar eclipse happens when the moon blocks the view of the sun for a short amount of time. Here, it means to be greater than or overshadow. Now, to pitch this concept to somebody is to try to persuade somebody to accept your ideas or your concept. Now, the word skeptical means to be doubting or disbelieving. The word eccentric has the prefix ek, which means out. The root word centric, which means center. So therefore, eccentric is out of the center, meaning out of the ordinary or strange, bizarre or unconventional. Now to deny means that you refuse to accept, recognize or believe about something or somebody. The word enlist. To enlist something or somebody is to voluntarily join a group, for example, the army or the military. Enlisting here refers to recruiting or hiring people to join a group or a purpose. And lastly, perspective. Perspective. If you observe the world from a dog's perspective, you see the world through the dog's eyes. Your perspective is the way you see something. Perspective has a Latin root spec, which means to look or see.